How's it going guys? Uh, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today's project's on this uh, steel uh, BR600 uh, backpack blower and uh, the problem the customer uh, says they're having with it is uh, he feels like it's not getting full throttle. So let's take a look at it see if we can't figure it out. Alright guys, so we're working on this backpack blower. Uh, apparently it doesn't seem to get full throttle. So I've got a couple of ideas right off the top of my head, uh, which uh, it could be. Uh, first and foremost is uh, maybe that the, uh, the cable for the uh, throttle control is uh, a little bit stretched. Um, maybe uh, it's uh, you know just a small description error maybe it's a bogging down a little bit and it doesn't seem like it's getting full throttle that way um, that could be a carburetor issue uh, it could be a, um, a matter of just tuning the carburetor a little bit it could have a clogged exhaust uh, screen there um, in the exhaust uh, carboned up so that's causing it to kind of bog a little bit um, it could have a um, crankshaft seal uh, bad so it's sucking air uh, through the crankshaft seal uh, the valves because this is a, a four cycle or four mix machine the valves could be out of out of whack so I've got a couple of uh, ideas uh, what I think it could be so I think what we're going to do is uh, we'll fire it up first we'll try and replicate what it is that the uh, customer is saying and see if we can narrow it down from there Joke. Make sure we have it on ignition. Alright, so it starts and runs. Uh, it starts up just fine here, so let's uh, see if we get uh, the full throttle out of it here. Alright, so it's not bogging, and when I hit the trigger, it pretty much gets full throttle right away. So I'm gonna tr pretty much eliminate the, um, the exhaust screen there. Uh, I'm gonna eliminate the uh, carburetor probably as being an issue. And uh, it does seem like it has a little bit of slop in the trigger, uh, meaning when I pull the trigger, it doesn't give me any sort of throttle response for the first, I don't know quarter to half an inch of uh, of the trigger so I think it's possibly a uh, stretched cable in this particular case so let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about here so with it idling here I can pull this trigger almost half an inch without getting any sort of throttle response out of it so what I'm thinking is that cable's a little bit stretched and uh, I should be getting some, there should be a little bit of slack, but maybe like an eighth of an inch or something before it starts hit, mashing the trigger or mashing the throttle. So I think it's not getting full throttle because that cable's a little bit stretched. 
So what I'm going to do here is uh, show you how to adjust that and see if it makes any difference. So what you're going to need for this, guys, is just a, a small flathead screwdriver. And let me show you this trigger here from the front side. Hopefully you can see that there is a set screw in there that you can adjust the tension on the cable. So you just get yourself this little flathead screwdriver and then give it a, a bit of a twist in the uh, clockwise direction. Just a little bit. You can see that that's actually adjusted the idle a little bit. Okay, so still needs quite a bit more here. So still have quite a bit. So this one's needed quite a bit of an adjustment. It is starting to get slowly, start get, getting tighter here. There, like we're just a very small amount. I think I'm gonna give her a little bit more. So just keep doing this until you've got Enough tension on there that basically just a quick movement of the trigger is going to start giving you some throttle. Like I said, there should be a little bit of slop still, but very little. That's much less slop than I had before. too much because it's actually it's not allowing the idle to come back down oh yeah it is all right let's try this out and see if it's made any sort of difference here Alright, so that was it guys, so it's definitely uh, uh, mashing the throttle much sooner as I depress that throttle trigger uh, and it seems to be uh, getting that full throttle um, out of it now. So yeah, hopefully this uh, video is going to help some people out there. Uh, that set screw is, is you know, kind of hidden in that little trigger handle, so maybe some people didn't even know that was available. So I uh, hope this uh, video helps some people out. If it did, go ahead and smash the like button. Uh, that helps me out on the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, consider doing so. Really uh, helps me uh, to, really drives me to, to give you guys some more content here. So uh, thanks for joining me. Until our next project, take care.